Hello everybody and welcome back, ZDS here, bringing you part 7, episode 7 of my Pokemon XTL Darkness Let's Play, and you'll also see that I am not anywhere where I was in the previous video, and there is a good reason for that. So, I did find a method to kind of, I guess, quote-unquote, get Shadow Togepi. Um, so I, I couldn't figure out how to, uh... Basically, I couldn't figure out how to actually make it to where I could receive it. So what I did is I used PK Hex, um, and I looked up the exact number shadow Pokemon that Togetic is. I copied one of the other shadows, I think it was Shadow Piloswine, Shadow Swine Up, and then I altered Togetic, or altered the Piloswine that I had to change it into Togetic, or Togepi, and if you remember from the last video, I had 30 shadows, but I now have 31 shadows. Save function. So it does count. I just can't get the damn shadow fucking Togepi from Hordell himself. So that kind of blows, but whatever. The point is I have the data for it, so that's not really a big deal now. But it's also a new day, so... New youthful energy! The power of youth! <laughs> okay, now the Colosseum's open. Okay. So we have to get rid of the fucking bastards here. Now, normally I would go through, like, the whole spiel about going through the, the remainder of the, uh... Whatchamacallit? The frickin'... I'd go through the whole thing, like the whole building usually, but in this case, I really don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go straight for, I'm just going to go straight for Gonzap, because there's really no point not to. Let me like lower the volume on my TV for that. I don't want the sound bleeding. But uh, while well, I'm kind of dicking around here, might as well find a topic to talk about. Uh, I'm gonna start doing that for the remainder of, like, my career as a YouTuber. <laughs> I'm gonna actually look up a topic related to the video or something like that to talk about. Because I have no ability to look it up, like, actually discuss it myself. Uh, but I figure I'm going through Pokemon, might as well talk more Pokemon shit. I remember in the last video I had mentioned uh, about, like, Mega Evolutions and shit, and all the kind of stuff that the starter Pokémon were kind of shafted on. But I was kind of uh, thinking about it, too. Um, if you guys know from some of my community tab posts, I've been creating uh, Pokémon cards recently. And I found a guy on eBay who uh, charges pretty good prices to have him uh, make a custom card for me. Um, so there will be more cards that I'm going to be showing off, but I'm not sure... Uh, I kind of want to show off my entire Pokemon card collection, but that would take, like, two hours. And I'd probably have to have, uh, my brother film it while I'm doing it, because, uh... It's a pain in the butt talks. Also, something I only just now noticed, or rather, I just now remembered, I should say. Um, the Snagum hideout is zoomed out more in Pokemon XD, like, as far as, like, it shows more of the actual area you're in, than it does in Coliseum. But anyway, so like I was saying about the, the Pokemon cards I've been creating, I'll actually, by the time this video comes out, I'll already have shown off one, maybe two more uh, that I had the guy commission. I'm probably going to ask him, like, if he wants me to just straight up, you know, refer to him directly on my channel, get him some good advertising re revenue, you know? I mean, I think that's pretty cool, you know? He's made a couple cards for me. He's made, he made the Megalophony card already. Uh, I also bought a Zacian, uh, V card, Zacian V, I believe. Uh, the one that's like 45 fucking dollars on PCG player. Uh, I bought it from him, he made a copy of it. Um, cause what he does basically is, uh, he takes the copy, I don't know exactly how, like, what material he uses to, to make them. But, uh, he takes the material he ever uses and then he, uh, paints it onto, or glues it onto an energy card. So the card is noticeably thicker than the regular card, plus the art's not perfectly exact, of course, as you would expect, because it's, you know, it's copied from an actual, some form of copy machine or printer machine. Um, but it's still pretty damn good, and the fact that I can have him make 
cards that I made myself is really, uh, really cool. I like that. But I have a Mega Latias card that I'm waiting for. It'll probably be in the mail the day of recording of this. But the Mega Latias card that I showed off on my community tab a few weeks ago prior to the recording of this video, or a few days ago prior to the recording, I don't remember. Uh, that's the one I had to make. Yeah, I'm just going right for Gonzap. I don't really want to waste any time. But any pooper. Um, I was kind of thinking about making... Um, I know Mega Evolutions are dead, um, but I just feel like making something similar, like a video on it, uh, it really sucks that Mega Evolutions are dead as far as we're concerned. That's a real fucking bummer because, I mean, Mega Meganium could have been good, a Grass Fairy type. Uh, really bulky defenses, maybe give it something like Serene Grace or something like that, or its own ability. Uh, I had one idea that was, uh, uh, either flower armor, pixie armor, or petal armor, which would essentially make it, uh, immune to poison moves, uh, including poison, uh, like the effect itself. Uh, I think I was gonna go with pixie armor, because I've been thinking about this kind of stuff for years now. Um, and then, like, Mega Typhlosion, I was thinking fire ground or fire rock, but... Both of those are really bad type combos. Well, Fire Ground is okay, but Fire Rock is bad. garbage. But considering it is a Volcano-based Pokémon, I think that it would have been pretty good to have it as a Fire Ground type. Probably not Fire Rock, because uh, Fire Rock is one of the worst combinations. Four time weakness to both Water and Ground type moves. Yeah, that means basically something like Swampert or Quagsire is going to 1-8-KO at every time. Hmm. Not to say that it couldn't one-hit KO a Typhlosion to begin with, because Earthquake is pretty damn powerful. Especially when coming off of a stab. And then for Alligator, I was thinking definitely had to be Water Dragon. A lot of people have said Water Dark, but they already had Greninja for that. Um, I think Water Dark would just not be very good for a Mega for Alligator. Definitely Water Dragon, though. Water Dragon would make for Alligator just a fucking monster. I mean, Water Dragon is one of the best type combinations in the entire fucking game because it only has two weaknesses. And that's two Dragon and Fairy type Pokemon. And plus it has a good bevy of resistances, including a quad resistance to fucking water types, which are one of the most common types in the game. So you can throw that motherfucker out. And if you have an electric or grass type move on the damn thing, although granted, Froggator doesn't learn either one. But who knows, maybe with a Mega Evolution it could gain access to Thunder Punch or something like that. I don't know. And I'm, I'm kind of just going through, like, the Gen 2 Pokemon right now, because I was also thinking about stuff like Mega Ledian. Um, not because Ledian is all that good, it's actually the opposite. It's the reason that I'm... I mean, Ledian is one of the most... one of the most worst... one of the worst Pokemon in the entire series. But I was thinking its ability Iron Fist would make it a pretty decent physical attacker, but it has, like, no capability of that because of its piss-poor attack stat. So I was thinking, like, making it a physical attacker with, like, huge power or something. I don't know. It's kind of a random thought that I had. Make it, like, a bug fighting type or something of that line. Maybe keep it a bug flying, but I think bug fighting would be better. I think there's only one bug fighting type, and that's Heracross, I think. I could be wrong on that. But I can't think of any other bug fighting types off the top of my head. And then it'd be like Mega Crobat too, you know, Mega Crobat would be okay. Although I wouldn't really know what to do with that. I don't know, Mega Crobat just kind of seems a little bland. I don't know, I've, I've just been thinking about like different forms you could give Pokemon and stuff, you know? Like we already have like over a dozens of regional variants with both the Galarian and the uh, Lolan forms. Uh, and those are definitely not a substitute for Megas. I'm not saying that they are. I didn't think Z-Moves were a substitute either. I think that they could have done a lot more Megas. And the fact that Sword and Shield doesn't have them at all is very disappointing. It's weird for me that it's more dis it's, it's almost as disappointing... It's pretty much on the same level of disappointment for me, um, as the actual fucking exclusion of Pokémon in the first place. Now, granted, I do 
pretty well think that they're going to introduce or reintroduce the Pokemon later on. Um, the Pokemon that we just know about currently uh, for the uh, expansion pass coming this year, um, just what we so far know, does not necessarily mean that those are the only Pokemon that are going to be re-released. Um, I'm positive that they're going to re-release more, they just haven't shown them all. Also lag, fuck you. I really wish I could figure out how to just completely get rid of the lag when I'm recording. Because the fucking system is more than powerful enough to run the game without lag when it's not recording. I fuss around with the damn video settings, I change here and there, and it still doesn't get rid of the lag at all. I could have this fucking running at, like, fucking 144p and it still wouldn't get rid of the lag. It's fucking annoying. Just because I'm my CPU, as I guess. I probably should give more attention to my other party members, because I've been using Gardevoir and Vaporeon exclusively for the last four videos. Oh, well. At this point, I'm just trying to get my goddamn fucking, uh, snag machine back, damn it. I'm also probably gonna make this video really short, uh, and just do the snag machine part and then start, uh, the little area with the fucking whatever. This lag is kicking me in the balls, man. Or not even lag, it's like, it's like chugging. It, I, I feel the, I feel the fucking struggle of my CPU to render this with the fucking audio in the background. Good God. I mean, you can hear the stuttering. I really wish I could figure out why this fucking, why it's doing that. <laughs> I'm sorry to keep going on and on about that, it's just frustrating. Oh, I forgot his Skarmory had Hyper Beam. Well, thankfully enough, Vaporeon is bulky as all hell. And I might have to use my first healing item. Yep. I haven't used a single healing item so far, good god. Okay. Do I kill you with fire or, fi or lightning? Fire it is. Melt your face. It's kind of a shame Gardevoir wasn't more used in its inaugural generation. I think it's in UU or UU Borderline. It's very effective in OU, it's just... It's not as... It doesn't hit as hard as something like Alakazam because it has lower special attack and speed. Um... But it's move set that combines a lot of ghost esque kind of uh, like abilities, like it has like taunt and all that shit and will o wisp. Uh, do help it a lot though. I know that Alakazam doesn't have will o wisp. Will o wisp is more associated with fire and ghost types. And every time I think of will o wisp nowadays, all I can think about is fucking uh, Bridget from fucking Xenoblade Chronicles Two using her special will of the wisp. I really would like to know what the hell that means. I'm gonna fucking Max Elixir. Max Elixir. And switch my team out for other things. Uh, let's go with Houndoom and Iron Frost, because I haven't given them any attention at all. I'm also avoiding item boxes. Uh, just understand that I don't really care about item boxes. Also, where the fuck is Mirabi? So our guys, he's in the real game tower Coliseum. Okay, good, he's in Pirate Town. So now we'll just, I'm actually gonna just go ahead right back to Pirate Town, uh, cause he's actually going to be in the little stadium area. The Pirate City, the Pirate Town Coliseum. Um, whenever he moves to a town that has a Coliseum, he'll always be in the Coliseum. Uh, with the exception of Fennec, cause I don't even think he goes to Fennec City. Uh, Fennec City's Coliseum was moved to the Real Game Tower. So Fennec no longer has its own Colosseum in XD Yellow Darkness like it did in Pokemon Colosseum. <laughs> also, now the lag is kind of stopping. Although I don't want to jinx it, I kind of think I just did. Alright, so as you can see, the fuckers are right here. Also, whenever you get the mirror radar, make sure to head to that spot really quickly. <sighs> because I've had a couple of instances over my course of my years playing this game. 
where I've gone directly to the place that he's supposed to be at, and Trudley and Folly are standing outside of where he's supposed to be, but then I go to the whole stadium and he's not there. Um, I don't know if that's a glitch, I don't know if that's something that's only affected me, I really couldn't tell you, but just make sure whenever you see the mirror radar go off, you go right for where he's supposed to be at. Alright, this should be easy. Fire. Fire. I've hidden by grass on Houndoom, just because I always prefer to have a grass move on fire type. I'm sorry, but unless it's a fucking... Actually, I don't think a single fire type Pokemon gets a physical grass type move. Because there's no fire grass type Pokemon. And most fire types that know a grass move know exclusively Solar Beam or Grass Knot. Which still bugs me in a sense because there's only one fire type across the entire game that does not know a grass move. And it's the one fire type I think could have really used it. And that's Flareon. Flareon? No, sorry. Flareon and Volcanion, but then again, Volcanion is also half water type. No, Volcanion gets Solar Beam, I think. Hold on. Does Volcanion get Solar Beam? Let me see. No, Gen 6, not 7, damn it. Go all the way to the bottom of the list. Volcanion moves. PMHM. Yeah, Volcanion gets Solar Beam. So the only fire type that doesn't get a grass type move is Flareon. It doesn't even get Solar Beam. Yet you have fucking something like Sylveon, and granted I love Sylveon, it is my second favorite, if not favorite evolution, depends, I flip-flop between the two. But then you have something like fucking Espeon and, and uh, fucking Sylveon that get all the attention when it comes to the diversity of their move pools. I personally think that's pretty unfair. Okay, I'm actually gonna want to use Slug Bomb and that Ludicolo. Yeah, if I'm thinking about it, let me go to all gyms. I have this app that I downloaded uh, a long time ago called Pokemon Database. Uh, probably one of the best uh, applications I've ever had that regarding uh, looking about Pokemon information. Wait, Alolan Marowak is technically a fire type. It is an alternate form, but it is a fire type. I'm looking at its move set in Sun and Moon. I don't see a grass move. I see electric moves, which is fine. Uh, I'm just gonna hit it with Thunderbolt, why not? Um, yeah. Okay, so Alolan Marowak doesn't get fucking grass moves. But then again, Alolan Marowak was a ground type when it was regular Marowak, so that shouldn't really count anyway. When I go to Flareon, I go to TMs and HMs. Not a single grass move anywhere near it, and I don't get why. <clears throat> the Slugmaw line gets Sword Beam, I think. TMHM, yep, Sword Beam. It's kind of sad the Voltorb was so weak that even a Thunderbolt could kill it in one shot. Oh, that's what's going on. I was Leaf Seated. Okay. Well, that's fine. Obviously, the Houndoom line gets Solar Beam. MT gets Solar Beam, Ho-Oh, Blaziken, Camera, Torkoal, Sunny Cast Form, although that shouldn't really count to me. Groudon, Primal Groudon, again, that shouldn't really count. Infernape gets Grass Knot and Solar Beam. Rodom Heat doesn't get it, but then again, Rodom Heat is like a form change, so it's, you know. I don't really count the form changes when it comes to this kind of stuff. Heatran gets it, Victini gets it, Embor, Sinisir, Dower Manitan. Uh, Chandelure gets Energy Ball too, so it's one of the only grass types that gets Energy Ball. Uh, Heatmore gets Giga Drain alongside of Solar Beam. Well, I think Giga Drain would have been a really good move to have. Uh. Something else could die. Obviously, Volcarona gets Giga Drain and Solar Beam. Delphox gets Grass Knot and Solar Beam. Solar Beam, Grass Knot, yeah. 
Talonflame gets it, Pyroar, as I stated, Volcaleon, Incineroar. Oracorio's ballet form, or however the fuck you pronounce it. Bail, Bail, I don't know. Um, it doesn't get Solar Beam, but then again, it doesn't really get any Fire Moves either, so it can't really count. Oh, wait, no, I don't want Bite. I was looking away from the screen too long. There we go. Good thing I didn't just randomly hit A. So Lazzle gets Solar Beam, I believe. Don't make me a liar. TMHM. Wait, why does it get Thunder Wave? Okay, no, that's Leech Life. Oh, okay, okay, there we go. So Lazzle doesn't get Solar Beam either. I can kind of see why, justification-wise, because it is a poison type. Uh, I don't know, I just see justification for it that way. Blastalon also doesn't get Solar Beam. In fact, it barely gets anything at all. Okay, so the only fire type to get a physical fire or grass move, though, is Scorch, which gets the grass move Power Whip. So there's a few Pokemon that don't get Solar Beam, a few fire types that don't get Solar Beam, but Flareon was the one that I always put an example of because Flareon in Generation 6 was the only grass or fire type that did not get Solar Beam. In fact, it was the only fire type that didn't have access to a single grass type of period. Um, and that still bothers me because I really like Flareon, and Flareon is one of those Pokemon that is absolutely garbage in the competitive scene and could really use a buff like that. You know, it does have Guts, which is a great ability, and it has a massive 130 base attack stat, which is awesome. But I've always used Flareon as a mixed attacker unless I'm playing competitive. And the moves that I always gave to Flareon, uh, in Gen 3 in particular, because I used Flareon so many times in Pokemon XD, uh, I'd always give it Flamethrower, Shadow Ball, uh, Bite, and Hidden Power Grass. That's just kind of the moves that I always gave it. And if I didn't go with Shadow Ball, I'd go with Iron Tail. Or I'd go with Body Slam on occasion, just to have better neutral coverage. But outside of that, I mean, there's also fucking... You know, in Generation 4, I got access to Super Power, which is a fucking phenomenally good move for Flareon. Bite and Shadow Ball switched their, uh, their physical special typing from each other, so Bite became a physical attack and Shadow Ball became a special attack. So if I wanted a specially based Flareon, I'd go Flamethrower, Shadow Ball, Hidden Power Grass, and Super Power. Thank God it gets some kind of fighting move. That'd be kind of a pain in the ass if it didn't. Uh, alright, so now we have- oh god, Spot Monitor, shit. Actually, I don't even think I really need to do that now because I can confirm that I can't receive gift Pokemon in the first place, so I'll probably just... If I really want a Larvitar that badly, I'll just hack it with PK Hex. I don't really have a reason not to. Uh, but I reckon I have enough time to capture one more Shadow, and I'll go after uh, the Shadow Zangoose that Zook carries. So I'll steal that bastard, and then with the next video, we'll continue on with the little pyramid area here. But, uh, but yeah, like, you know, up until Generation, I think it was 6, actually, uh, Flareon didn't get a good physical fire move. Uh, and the, you know, in Gen 5, or Gen 4, it got Fire Fang. In Gen 5, it got Flame Charge. And then 6, it got Flare Blitz, which it should have had from Gen 4, personally. I mean, Flareon with a Guts Boost with Flare Blitz with an Adamant Nature hits like a truck. I've been able to one-hit KO bulky water types with a guts boosted adamant natured flare blitz. I mean, you can't go wrong with that kind of thing. Flare is also the only fire type I think that has the guts to me. Because I know it's typically reserved for fighting type Pokemon, because the Champ has it, Heracross has it, Conkelder has it. How many people have? How many Pokemon have guts? This is kind of neat topics to talk about while well, there's not really much going on on screen. Well, I guess I can't really say there's nothing going on on screen. It's just that Exegil, Darkness, and Coliseum are mostly battles. Nothing wrong with that. It's just that there's very little else to do. 
I mean, you're stealing slash saving the Pokemon that these bastards have corrupted. And you're battling them while you do this, so... Hold on, Guts. Pokemon, and now the game is lagging again, I don't know. Whoa, holy crap, it's really lagging. Jesus, what the hell just happened? It is lagging, lagging. Whoa. Okay, yeah, after this is a good time to cut the video because goddamn is it lagging bad right now. I'm sorry, 10 FPS does not fucking cut it. Oh my god, I'm afraid of my crash. 8 F, what the fuck is happening right now? I honestly don't even know what's going on. It just suddenly started tanking. What the hell? God, I, it's so bizarre to me that it started doing this. Like, it was working fine for like a good 15 minutes and all of a sudden now it's crashing on me? Look at that, it's... Uh... Oh, that is terrible. Anyway, Zuke, I stole your fucking Shadow Pokemon. Go away so I can cut the video, because this is taking forever. Okay. So we never see him again. Just so you guys know. And I think, like I said, this is a good place to stop the video because the game is about to crash on me. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any interesting content, please leave suggestions in the comment section down below or on my Twitter page, at SoDiarist. And until next time, this has been ZDS. Thank you for fun one video at a time. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a good night, everybody.